I'm going to have a look at how you can use one of the tools in Purple Mash, which is the To Create a Story, to do some non-chronological writing. I'm just going to launch this app and then select this option, My Adventure Story. When it opens up, you can see we've got our first page. What I'm going to do with this is to make it into a sort of title page. So uh, as a background, I'm going to click and open. I'm not going to use one of the ones that's here because it's not appropriate. I'm going to choose a file from my PC. And I'm going to go to my pictures where I've already collected together a load of images that I want to use. This one should work quite nicely. Just allow it to upload. There we go. This is the picture. You can see I can zoom in and out. This one's representing my uh, subject. OK, and this is my front cover. And I'm going to call it Plotting Crease. Next thing I can do is to put uh, a link on here so I can actually start going through my book. I'm going to use this a, a button. I'll put the text here and stop. OK. And that I'm going to put in the corner. It's a fairly obvious place to put it because it just encourages someone to carry on going on through the book. Next thing I want to do is to add another page. This is going to be my contents page. What I'm going to do on this is to again add a button. This time I'm going to choose one of these up at the top. Uh, should select and call it content. that. You see I can just move around. I can change the size of it. There we go. Slightly more in the middle. And I can also add some images to this content page. For what I'm doing, it's a Key Stage 1 book, so I'm going to have it not too wordy. Uh, so I'll just select all about trees. I'll go and choose a file from my PC again because I've selected some images already. I've got a deciduous tree which will load just a little character that can be moved around. Don't need any animations or anything like that to go with it. Uh, I could if I wanted to just add a sound so that when I click on this picture it'll tell me what it is. I'll do that. Click and record my voice. Deciduous. This is a deciduous tree. So you can see now you've got some sound as well. Uh, we'll come back to that because you can actually use this to click to move on to other pages, but we'll just populate our contents page to begin with. And I'll drag that across. Make it a little larger. And I'm also going to put a button underneath that. I think I'll use yeah, the yellow one underneath this one and write in what it is. Okay, and that's my label underneath that tree. I want to put an evergreen one on the other side. I'll do exactly the same thing. Go to get my pictures, clip art. Choose a file, same routine, and I'll get the uh, evergreen. Let that one load up. Again, add a sound. This is an evergreen tree. Okay, and also I have my button. And put evergreen on this label. Use the 
both cross to where I want them to be. You can come back, you can carry on editing and making all of this look far more professional as you go along. But I'm just giving you the, the basics. Here we go. So the next bit we want is to have some pages that we can jump to rather than have to go right the way through the whole book, clicking on the arrows here. We want these things to link to other pages. What I'm going to do is uh, make another page. So I'm going to insert this page and I'm just going to put a button on here, which is going to save me a, a quite a lot of time. This is going to be our button that takes us back to our home page. Back to the contents page. At any point we want to get to the contents page, all we have to do is to click on this. It'll take us to the contents page. Now here's the time saver. All we have to do once I've created this, put that there, click copy, add a page, paste, add a page, and paste. paste. And you'll be able to see then if I just click on a little planning area, sort of storyboarding area, that I've got my title page, I've got my contents page, then I've got four more pages that we can move on to. The next thing I want to do is to start adding some content. I'll click on my storyboard and we can see we've got the title page, we've got the contents page, we now want to start adding some information. I'll add some writing. Evergreen leaves. Stay green all year long. Okay, I could add a voice over here. Record my voice. Evergreen trees stay green all year long. That helps pupils who aren't able to read particularly well um, or don't, are not able to understand some of the, the new words that they're encountering. What I can now also do is to put a link in. I have my button which says evergreen. And unless I put something on it to say it's going to be anything other than just a title, it will remain like that. And I've also got the opportunity to be able to put an image in. I could use clip art if I wish. I'll just put in tree, see what we've got available. Looks like a fairly typical green tree. And I can click on OK here. There we go. So we've got our first page with some content on it. So now we can see that we have a number of completed pages. Our home page, title page, contents page, and our first page of information for evergreens. Going from here, what I'd like to do is just test to make sure that all of the buttons are working. I click on the play button, which allows me to start to read through my book. Sorting trees, start, jumps me to my contents page, evergreen. Evergreen trees stay green all year long. It speaks to me automatically. I've got some content here. And then if I click, I can go back to my contents page and then click on my deciduous link when it's ready. You may also like to make it so that the pictures can become links to other pages. To do that, just click and open up the editing area. And on this one, so if I click on this picture, go to page and I'm on page three for my evergreens. And I just click OK and then OK again. 
and I can test that to make sure that it works. So I click start and then I click on my tree and it will speak to me as well as linking to the next page. This is an evergreen tree. Evergreen trees stay green all year long. And then as before, I can just click and go back to look at my contents page. You can put as many pages as you want into your book. If I just look back at the storyboard, it's giving you an indication through the arrows of how everything's starting to link together. You can see a two way arrow here. So I'm going from this page to that one. But I also have the ability to go from this page and back again. I can do the same thing with subsequent pages, making it all link together in some non chronological writing.